Now we're going to talk about how to adjust your shoulder rest so that you can play comfortably. First off, without the shoulder rest on the violin, I want you to look straight ahead with your neck relaxed and comfortable, and I want you to bring the violin up to you and bring the chin rest up to your jaw. Now, look underneath this space right here. That's what you need to fill up with the shoulder rest so that you're not contorting your neck to get to the violin. So hold the violin comfortably, bring it up to your jaw, and see that space right there. That's what you need to fill in. Now let's put a shoulder rest on and see how that is. Now this shoulder rest is adjusted for me, so I know it's going to be pretty comfortable. But let's just see. So I'm looking straight ahead. I just bring that up. And the shoulder rest has a little contour to it. And you want to kind of just hook that around your shoulder like this so that your shoulder is fitting in that dip right there. And then you want to try holding up the violin without your hands. It should be pretty stable and you shouldn't have to bear down or reach up. You just want your neck to be in a natural, comfortable position. Now let's talk about some issues that you may have because very few students try this the first time and it's perfectly comfortable. So let's talk about a couple common problems that I see. One is that the scroll just keeps wanting to dip down while the students are holding it. And this can be for a couple different reasons. One is that this bottom foot is just not high enough. It generally needs a little bit more height. And when you're holding the violin, you don't want the violin to be vertical. You want it to be a little bit more horizontal. I think it's like a tabletop almost. And that's going to help out a lot when you're using the bow because you want gravity be to be on your side. If you're holding the violin like this, gravity's not going to do a lot for you when it comes to getting a good tone. So if you feel your scroll continuing to dip down, you may want to unscrew this foot so that it's a little bit higher. Or if you still can't get the height you need, sometimes I use these little red makeup sponges and you can just put a rubber band around your shoulder rest and put it right there. And that will give you a little bit extra cushion right there and a little bit extra height. Now, another reason that the scroll tends to dip down is because the top of the shoulder rest is just slipping and not really gripping your shoulder. And so a fix for that is just to put a little rubber band around that top part, and that's just gonna add some traction on your shoulder so it doesn't slip off. Now, another reason your shoulder rest may not be comfortable is because it's got too much of a tilt in it. Let me show you what I mean. So now, some shoulder rest will tilt, others will not. So you see how right now this one is tilted, so it's not really flat. And when I put that up on my shoulder, it's just going to want to slip because this isn't gripping my shoulder on the flat part. So you just want to make sure it's a little bit flatter. It can have a little bit of a tilt in it, but you don't want a lot. And now that flat part is going to grip my shoulder there and stay much more stable. Now let's talk a little bit about different kinds of shoulder rests. There are a lot of shoulder rests out there. I have gone through many to try to find the most comfortable fit. And I've narrowed it down to two shoulder rests that generally work well for most people. One is the Everest. And I like this one because it's got a nice contour. This really lays on the shoulder very well. It's got a nice cushion and the feet tend to stay on the violin. My only complaint about this one is that you can't unscrew the feet very much. So if you have a regular or a taller neck, you may not be able to get the height you need with the Everest, but you can use sponges. And I've also known some students to take the feet off of the Everest and put some feet from another shoulder rest. You can try that too. My other favorite shoulder rest is this Wolf Secundo Forte. I like this one because the feet can really be adjusted uh, out quite a bit to give you all the height you need. And it also tilts, as we've talked about before, so that gives you a little bit more uh, customization with your shoulder rest. Now let's talk a little bit more about the way you want to hold the violin. If you were to stretch out your left arm, you want your violin scroll to be pretty much pointing in the same direction as your hand. You want it to be parallel with your outstretched arm pretty much. Now one common thing I see students doing is that they hold the violin inside more 
more perpendicular to their body so they can really see their left hand and see what's going on. But this makes a big problem when you start bowing because you are making this area very cramped right here because you're bringing the violin in. And so students that hold the violin like this tend to play over the fingerboard or they play at an angle or they're just cramped right here and they really can't get a good sound because of the way they're holding their violin. So you want to make sure you push your violin back, have it up high on your shoulder, and parallel with your outstretched arm like this.